So speaking of the VGAs, good, good for, for the people that don't yeah. know what it is, can you give a brief summary of what the VGAs is and what separates yes. your show from yes. the video game awards that a lot of people know? Right. So the video game awards were founded in 2011 by people who had watched the Spike Video Game Awards and right. felt so incensed that they thought they could go it alone. Those were the words. We, could, we thought we could go it alone. We have no budget. Uh, we have no spaghetti, but we're pushing on regardless for fun and very little profit. And by very little, they actually meant no profit. We do this shit for free. Um, so the first show came out and uh, people really were mixed about it. Like they thought that, yeah, this is going to be the great saber, but understand this is something done by volunteers. The first time it happens, there's a novelty to it, but the results of it made it seem like, oh, well, this isn't so fucking special. You had uh, celebrities uh, similar to the Spike Video Game Awards. You had a clear bias towards Valve products because you required people to sign into Steam. And worst of all, you can only pick one winner. Maybe I like multiple games, and I think multiple games should win. So it's very similar to, like, the Spike VGAs or the Reddit Game Awards, which was actually a thing back then. Um, so that was where the connection came. And so... People were like, this is so fucking bad. But the people working on the Video Game Awards were like, nah, let's try this again. We'll see if we can make it a little bit better. They tried again in 2012, and it was even worse. There was more things that went wrong there. So um, there was a large amount of stuff that was detracting from the show. A lot of getaway segments. Um, not bashing uh, specific communities, but like 4chan Cup, uh, V-Wrestling, um, there, there was just a lot of stuff that was not the actual awards, similar to the Spike Video Game Awards. So not a lot of data, not a lot of results, but more pomp and circumstance rather than the stuff that people really wanted to get into. Plus the internet connection on the 2012 VGAs, if you look at it, super fucking choppy because somebody had to host it from their own connection and was doing like a VLC playlist. So mm. you could actually see as they were dropping in the awards. Uh, how that how that was working oh, and there was just a, a huge disparity in quality also so after which people gave up and said hey we're not going to do another one but there was somebody who who went around and messaged pretty much everybody who worked on the 2011 and 12 vgas and asked if they wanted to do it again and i said yeah i'll, I'll do it i'll do it because the, the 2012 producer and director said yeah we're done we're, we don't want to do this at all and anyone who was a part of it, if I were to do anything different, this is the 2012 producer speaking, I would fire everybody and, and start a clean slate. And I and I asked, me too? And he said, sorry. So I was like, Jeez. oh, fuck. 2013 was the year where the VGAs rebooted. The Video Game Awards did something different. It was a lot smaller scale. Um, Phone Eating Bear was among the first people who I had contact and say, hey, can, can you help me work this show? Initially, I was the director, but I didn't have the editing chops to actually make that role happen. Mm -hmm. And so um, as we got more people and we got closer and closer to a deadline, we uh, one week before the show, so we had everything except a template. So we ran the nominations, we ran the voting, we had the speeches in hand, but we had no visual template. Well, I put a little countdown on this site and I was like, Okay, we're going to make this countdown. And if we don't have a template in like seven days, we're just going to release the results and call it in. But somebody <laughs> came through with a fucking clutch. And that was Sagab. The same person who worked on the 2011 and 2012 VGAs. Sagab yeah, made the template. And we got, this, we got this shit done. And we got it done right. And you know what won? Best writing and best sequel, Monster Girl Quest Chapter 3. Number two of least worst in the 2011 <laughs> oh, VGAs. Fuck. Yes, hentai games win again. For the first time ever. Also, um, <laughs> another 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 thing uh, another thing that was um, really funny of the uh, 2013 VGAs was the fact that for once uh, an award show nom or an, an award show recognized its own sweeps, its own faults in you know the fact that people vote the way that they do, but the fact that there was a sweep. And here's the, here's the thing: uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance won a lot of things like best gameplay. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to think of quite a few others, um, but it won several categories in the VGAs and one of them, I, it was actually for best gameplay was like, it opens with the winner screen and it says the winner is the wonderful 101. 
just kidding, it's Metal Gear Rising again. And then it has to be this way, starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually really funny. The the fact that an award show could be self-aware, realizing that, hey, we're not perfect. We're just a bunch of gamers fucking trying to do this shit and make it happen. Yeah. And so it puts the focus on a community. But more importantly, it's local. It's not trying to find the mythical mainstream gamer like a lot of these big-ass award shows that are actually enlisting and impaneling journalists to do the votes for them. So because of that, I feel like this is something that it's worked for our community for so many years and sites that try to fucking sneak around and do the vote they see like oh reddit voted this way or twitter voted this way but we're not focusing our show our visual presentation on that we're focusing it on 4chan and skits and pre-show mixes and bumpers are surrounded uh by 4chan people and that that's what makes me really fucking happy about it so since then uh 2013 we've built something up where people are expecting something yearly of us a nice show that's got good pre-show music, good awards, clever writing, the fact that we have trailers from indie game developers that are from 4chan, and um, you know, a good good abundance of skits. Last year was a good one where they they uh, made like a fake trailer for an award, uh, a, a movie called Yester Game, where the guy gets knocked down in the head. Oh, that's and right. He, yeah. he he gets he wakes up to a world <laughs> with no Nintendo. So they're like, "Yo, what's Mario?" And they draw like Mario, or he he describes Mario, and he ends up drawing like a, a plumber version of Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> so that shit was pretty funny. But um, just seeing that creativity from the community is is so fucking cool. And um, as I get older, just seeing what these other people are doing, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's that's all right, too. I mean, you got to understand where we came from and how far we've gone uh, to know that, like, this is something that's established now. We have something we love. We have something we want to protect and we want we want to keep this thing going. And so it's it's really the gift that keeps on giving. You know, if all, if, all, if all three of us go to the Game Awards this year, we should do, like, on-the-street interviews with people at the Game Awards for, for VGAs. That'd be yeah, really yeah, that would, that would be, yeah, that would be interesting. I am, I'm going to um, the uh, New York Game Awards, uh, let's see, is it next week? It is next week, so it's going to be next week, and, you know, um, with respect, you know, I, I wouldn't, like, just poach people and say, hey, w- look at this award show. But I would just try to see, I'm like, hey, look at the crowd and see what's going on. Uh, the New York Game Awards is something that's like a nonprofit. Uh, it's run by um, the New York Video Game Critic Circle. It's people that um, mentor younger people into game development and games journalism. So it's 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 kind of cool. It's it's definitely smaller scale than the Game Awards, but um, yeah, like working on the VGAs, our show gave me better insight to know what to expect from the Game Awards. Ironically. Even though the Game Awards is something that's, you know, real life based with real sets and real cameras, Mm -hmm. we have a good idea of like what a run sheet is and what's the performance and what's going on. So seeing that and uh, as I said, like that one long ass article I wrote, it it really put like a um, what do you call it? A good a good um, analysis as to like (laughs) how award shows work and what to expect from them. And hey, um. This is the first year all three of us are working on the VGAs this year. If you want to talk, yeah. About that. Oh, really? This, Woo-hoo! yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I was, I wasn't sure uh, about returning, but Magfest really motivated me to come back. So I'm gonna be working. Thank on you. It, so. Oh, were you Thank on the verge you. of not doing it? Why? I just didn't really have the energy, and I didn't really have any ideas. But going to Magfest like really got my energy back. <clears> so. Gotcha. Because I, cause I, I remember yeah. talking about it on the last episode. I wasn't sure if I was going to be a part of it, but now I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I wanted to touch on this one last thing. Because, yeah, it was like, oh, what's this What's this parasocial relationship you got with the man Jeff Keeley? Like, I... I... <laughs> 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 we got we to gotta clear the air because this can be listened to by anyone, including the Pope himself. Um <laughs> This person, this person has actually, hey, hey, this person has actually worked on award shows for a really fucking long time. They were part of Cybermania in 94. It was like the first video game award show when they were like, I think 14. I worked on the VGAs when I was 16. So it was like, I grew up around this shit. And I was right. like, I thought that was cool. We're not the same person, obviously. We came from different backgrounds completely. But um, the fact that 
we're both really passionate about these projects that we work on. This man, he <laughs> said in like an NPR interview, like this is a 30 year project for me. That really made me think, damn, this person's serious about what he does. And I will say at the expense of sounding like a fucking, um, what do you call it? A fucking nerd or a fucking hypocrite for somebody who works on the VGAs. This person loves video games. This person mm -hmm. doesn't hate video games. He's not a journalist who pretends to be good. You know, like some people who are bad at their jobs. Like, this person actually enjoys and loves video games. And this is what he does. He, he really is passionate about his project. And I am too. You know, so it's, it's really cool to see that going. And it's really cool for our project to go for a 12th year. This is the, the VGAs, the Video Game Awards, has outlasted the Spike Video Game Awards, something that had corporate funding, something that had celebrities left and right. We started with internet personalities, and they're great. You know, they are, they are actually doing really fucking good outside of the VGAs. And we were not the reason why they were famous. They were. They did such a great job on their own. But now that we have our show going, we have something that we want to keep going. And I'm, I'm just so fucking enthused for what we've got going on in 2023. Nice. Yeah, so to all you people who think that Beatstar is just an obsessed Dorito Pope fan, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> yeah. You're sadly mistaken. <laughs> Tips Fedora and then proceeds to lose it at LAX and, uh, Airport. <laughs> just a heads no. up. If Dorito Pope is listening, or anybody else like in the industry just in general... Um, uh, the, the bombing joke earlier about uh, anime, <laughs> that was a that was a, that was a joke. Uh, I didn't mean it. Uh -huh. We're all yeah. goofs and gaffs here. Please Fuck don't blacklist yeah, me. I, I, um, I think I said geez. this on the podcast before, but Jeff Keeley follows the Twitter account of the band they work for, and it takes every nerve of Damn. it takes every nerve really? of my body to not slide into his DMs and be like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" That would be God so. Damn. Tempting. Musical performances, bye. Yeah. Oh my god! If, oh, if, if, I, if I can get the Living Tombstone to perform at the Game Awards, I, 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 I'm, I better get a fucking raise. <clears throat> <laughs> so, what's else on the uh, agenda? Well, I mean, we're going to talk about just 4chan culture in general and, and just stuff sure, surrounding sure. like the VGA. So I see a bunch of times when it comes around VGA time. Um, I don't know yeah, if yeah. you personally do it or somebody else does it, but there's a bunch of threads about it. Like, hey, VGAs is coming up. Here's the polls. Here's how to participate. Here's what you can do. You know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. How do you deal with some of the criticisms that like are launching at you, which pretty much is every year being like, oh, this boring cringe shit again, or oh, this is Reddit here once again, or you guys are F words, like blah, blah, blah. Like. Well, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, motherfuckers like that other motherfucker, that other j j j j j j j j Dorito Pope. You don't understand how much criticism this guy gets. Okay, let's not make it too much about him. But for any person, and let's also who's stop super calling popular, him Dorito Pope because he actually hates okay. that shit. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, by the way, yeah, that. Jeff Keeley hates. You don't call oh, him Dorito. Sorry, sorry. I no, had a little. No, I had a little yeah, section. No, when pe no, I he, had a little <laughs> section in that 2020 article where I'm like, oh, he's got laser eyes from the. He legit like pontiff. is angry that that became yes. his like nickname. He's fucking yeah. furious about that. And I, I gave, I gave feedback this year, as I said, and I was like, I'm looking back ten years, and that's how I knew, that, or not was I knew, but that's the first thing I've seen about this person ever before, like. I think in the last three or four years, I was tr more more trying to see, you know, what this guy's actually all about. But yeah, mm -hmm. I saw that. And I, I saw the, you know, the Doritos and the Mountain Dew. And I felt so bad because it was so emblematic of gaming journalism at the time. It was something like, oh, you have to cover our product. Otherwise, we're going to demonetize you. And not the demonetization that goes on now, 2017 and beyond. But I'm talking about this is your lifeblood for your site. We're going to cut the ads unless you give us a 70 or above. That is fucking wild. Mm -hmm. And that's the real fucking, like, criticism. Not like, oh, this is happening or that is happening. It's like, the fact that these publishers and these developers <laughs> had these people by the balls at one point, that was scary. Man, what was the thing years ago with uh, GameSpot? Was it Kanan Lynch 2? Yes. Yeah, yeah Jeff Gerstmann yeah. and ended up founding Giant Bomb. Yep, yeah, that's what it was. If it, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Gerstmann rebelling, Giant Bomb would have never been made and hit in, like, game journalism history would have been forever changed. Mm -hmm. Which that's I, crazy. I, I, who yeah. I think I said on the podcast, I did meet at the Game Awards, and he's a he's mm -hmm. a, yeah. He was one of our uh, uh, announcers at Funny Rave this year, so I was able to thank oh, him nice. in person for that. So that was really fun. Hearing that guy, hearing that guy announce my name was so fucking cool. I'm like, yeah, Jeff Gersman announced <laughs> his wrestling voice. So cool. I did visuals. <laughs> yeah. 
So, so um, going going back to it, I suppose, uh, going back to criticism. So, a, a popular person like that, for all the comments they make, you you gotta understand they got haters. They got people. So, like, okay, it's it's like a guy is pointing out like a comment or he's saying a comment, right? Mm-hmm. And then there's thirty crabs in the barrel, and they're all climbing to the top trying to grab this dude's hand. That's what's going on. So, like, it's everyone just trying to get up a one up on somebody. And so, when it comes to the BGAs. The criticism is there. Some of it is valid. In fact, a lot of them are like make really good fucking points. Earlier in the years of the BGAs, we got intense criticism. Tons mm-hmm. of kill yourselves. Tons of fuck you faggots. All of that. So in the years that have come since, it's really been, it's really been more mild. I mean, more of it is like you guys, you guys do this shit. Why the fuck are you wasting your time with it? This is. As I said, it's a very strange hobbyist award show. It's got such a loyal following at the same time. It's it's super fucking local, super fucking niche. And that's what makes it kind of kind of special in its way. Because the impact that we have by reaching out to developers and letting them know, hey, your game was nominated for most hated game of the year. A lot of people respond. A lot of these studios actually respond to us. So we find purpose in that. And we share the, um, what do you call it, the responses with the community. Because that, that's our service to the community besides the show and the results. You got to let people know, hey, this is actually working. This is something that a lot of these studios, I don't say they're w- looking forward to the VGAs necessarily, but they are they are paying attention one way or another. And so um, when it comes down to crit- criticism, like, hey, we don't we didn't like this one segment. We didn't like the fact that you had two music videos in the 2019 VGAs. You didn't see them again in 2020. They were a little bit different. They were actually... They were actually like uh, parodies of uh, existing video game songs and given us speeches instead. <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of insidious, but uh, anyway, it was kept to video, you know, and it was kept mm-hmm. and it made it a little bit more positive. So listening to the <clears throat> feedback and responding to it constructively and addressing the points that would ultimately make your award show better is the best way for it, and not to be too dismissive and not to say, "Hey, we're gonna fucking ignore that opinion." I mean, you can honestly ignore the opinion, but never say, hey, I'm going to ignore this, because that's just like saying, hey, fuck you, right to their face. Yeah. So um, that's, I mean, that's one of the, the things that I, I um, personally take away from that. Awesome. And uh, mm-hmm. so let's talk about 4chan as a whole. Sure. I want to get your perspective on something. So we uh-huh. have stuff like the VGAs, and now we have a reoccurring yes. thing every year as well, uh, V the Musical, uh, which mm-hmm. I sometimes participate in. Um mm-hmm. But outside of that stuff, I feel like there's been a lack of original content across the boards in general. Do you think board culture is dying on 4chan? Do you think there's any room to have that kind of OC again where we can come together and just like shit post or make another V musical type, you know, project we all get together? Right. I guess I'm an optimist and knowing that the audience is changing that like more new people are coming to 4chan, but it is different. And it's different because of the fact that people have fucking phones now. But 4chan mm. has this really, really strange capture system where if you don't pay 20 fucking dollars, right. you have to go and, you know, you before it was recapture and like the recapture was the people on 4chan or, you know, they post so much and they give so much activity to that um, capture service that you have to like spend 30 seconds solving the capture before you can actually make your post. Mm-hmm. But now, not now that Google's like, yeah, we're not going to, we're going to make you pay big bucks for it. They did their own implementation, and it's just as fucking difficult. So people typing on their phones, it's not a mobile-friendly site, no, unfortunately. No, not at and all, it, yeah. it's never, And it's never really made that transition. So people who are posting on their fo- phones either make their comments very short and to the point, or they don't post at all, they just lurk. And so uh, a lot of the, the comments are coming from mobile posters, but also there's less, or not mobile posters, desktop posters, and also there's less active posters on the site. Given the illusion that it's 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 significantly down, I think the viewer, I, I think the amount of people on V are probably down by a little bit. I don't know by what number, or by what metric, but I don't think that the culture itself is dying. I, I just think the site itself has to come come around to um, letting people, as cringe as it sounds, phone post. They need to be able yeah, to do that. Yeah, it's, it's really hard, too, because official 4chan-type apps are banned from both the Play Store and iOS. Really? Um, yes. So for and yes. yes, because it's categorized uh, under, like, nudity and adult other, like, content. adult yeah adult content in general. So you have to yeah. sideload um, certain apps uh, that people yeah. make for Android. And then iOS, yeah. you're pretty much shit out of luck unless you jailbreak, and there's, like, one app, but, like, nobody 
yeah. uses it like who cares I, I i yeah i sideload ichan but the thing is it's like with sideloading until ios 17 comes out in the fall they're gonna make you renew every week and that's super annoying and then eventually you'll just like, right in the uk they the allow sideloading now with mm-hmm. without um all the certification like renewing like the whatever yeah, yeah. uh developers mm-hmm. thing every week um so hopefully there'll be an easier way to integrate it with everybody so we can just like right. sideload stuff and finally right. on ios you can silo that that's crazy to me um yeah but but uh regarding online projects on v i mean you've got the 4chan cup which i believe preceded i just mean in general a, a 4chan as a yeah, whole yeah. like yeah just sure. oh, yeah you've got you've got tons of projects across the boards you have to like regularly browse them i think to be exposed to them mm-hmm. but i've seen many that have come after us and they're they're doing just as good of a job as we are i i think um you know the v3 people they 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 started out um, just taking a few trailers and then now it's just something where a lot of AGDG people come to we have a little bit of a story I won't get into it it's a little bit too much time okay but um, they they've got something going on you've got king and queen of v and of course mm. v the musical yep v the musical and the VGAs go back and uh, one of the people several of the people in fact who work on V the musical also work on the VGAs mm. we don't brag about that point a lot I don't even think we brag about it at all nah. it's the first time I think I'm bringing it up but it's because of the fact that hey we like making this content for you guys and I think we wanna we want to put out as much as we take in from the board and and so um, with that, V the Musical's got a lot of releases, as does the VGAs, and now V3 is a yearly thing, and King and Queen of V is a yearly thing. Mm-hmm. There's tons of stuff, as I said, tons of stuff, including 4chan Cup, V Sings, A Sings, all of that. Just the, the thing I miss the most, I, I used to see it all the time in 2016 and 2017 across all boards, that's why I liked it so much, yeah. was was Vokuru threads. I miss yes. Vokuru yeah, threads. I love and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna toot my own pussy here for a second, and Jab was actually involved with this. Well, not involved, but he saw uh, they saw it uh, firsthand when, they, when I was doing it. I'm gonna post it, and I think this is the most use i've ever seen i recorded it i went on tv mm. i made this thread in oh, the hopes yeah. that this would you mentioned so, this, yeah, in the few episodes this is for a mock-up super mario brothers movie trailer that tv decided to write down i recorded it and man the reply pff, i still look at it sometimes i'm like damn these many replies like i love being a part of these kind of threads where it's vocru and shit posting mm. and doing all this yeah yeah because i feel like nobody ever does this at all i barely see it mm-hmm. nobody does it so i like doing shit like this like being involved with the board board culture like that whether it's like the vgas or the musical or just like finding random shit post threads or making random shit post threads um I but Vokuru i feel like nobody that one audio clip of that black guy going on each on and he was like y'all actually thought i was a woman I love that. <laughs> like, 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 shit, like, I it's just... also where, oh man, it's the one where it's the uh, the little girl uh, role play, and she's like, "Daddy, daddy, like uh, I want to play Monopoly, like my friends over." And you're like, "Okay, stop sucking my dick. I just I want to play Monopoly. Please mm. stop." <laughs> Jesus, Christ. that's what that's one of my favorite yeah. clips. I was like, "We're both sucking your cock, daddy. Like we're ten years old." Like, no, I just I want to play Monopoly. Stop. <laughs> So um, I remember the I remember the Metal Gear uh, Rising with uh, Raiden. He was like, uh, "I threw a wish in the well. You asked me, I never oh, tell, and now man. you're in my way. Where do you think you're going, Armstrong?" <laughs> you know, I used to make uh, I used to make like before. I think this was before V the Musical was really like popping off. I used to do like Snake and Otacon sing a certain mm. song, and I would post them yes. like in V threads. <laughs> And then I would post them yeah. on my YouTube and like advertise the shit out of that, and then I unlisted them because like, oh, this is really cringe. It, was, was that There's the a guy on V who voices Anakin, and he's so freaking close to. I the I I voice knew actor. that guy. Me and him, we yeah, added yeah. each other on Skype because he mm-hmm. liked all my Snake and Otacon videos, and he wanted mm-hmm. to participate in one of them. But I think we added <laughs> each other on Skype, and then we just like didn't talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unusual voices, right? 
Yes. Right. Unusual yes. characters. Yeah, that that guy is is pretty pretty cool. <laughs> and he also he's also adaptable. He did the one where it was like it has to be this way. And it was just like, what if I don't want to be fucked in the ass? Well, I'm up next. Here I go. <laughs> this is so And over then the I top. and then I had one that got really popular and like somebody made like a source filmmaker thing from it, but I don't think anybody knew it was me. But it was me um it was I had the audio of Snake Eater in the background and it was mm. uh Big Boss and Cause mm. having sex with each other. Oh, and I was fantastic. like improv it's like it's like Snake, yes, I do it for the boss. Yes, mm -hmm. faster. Yeah. Like I did all that yeah. and it got taken yeah. and people were making just shit posts about it. I just I don't know. I love doing that shit. Yeah. So yeah, I mean like compared to all the shit that happened like 2016 beyond with uh, politics and shit, like I don't fuck with that stuff, but I do fuck with the shit like cause and snake having sex. Hell yeah! yeah and speaking like, of snake, like, I don't know, know if, I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast or, or just with Jab personally, but I think yeah. I think my <laughs> the funniest thing that blew up that I did on 4chan was when um the uh god the guy in Canada he was dressed up as Big Boss. Yeah, you brought the Big Boss up in the past, yeah. I, yeah, I, I was going to ask if that was the one you were talking about. That was the one that made it yes. on the news. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And um, so there was a, I, I sang Snake Eater, but like pretending to be like the Canadian shooter. So I'm making <laughs> lyrics. I'm, I'm singing and making lyrics up relating to the shooting. And so Global News took that audio, like Paul, Paul gave them the audio. And they're like, this is the shooter. Like we felt like he made this song. And, and Global News was like, we have an audio right now from the shooter. And I'm like, and it's me just being a dumbass. I'm like, what a kill. Oh. I'm coming and I'm shooting in Mockton. What a kill! Oh, like for once, the internet took was a break it? from blaming Sam Hyde for it and then blamed Sam. I was about instead. to say, yeah. was it was this pre Sam Hyde era? Is, it, is that what's going on? Um, or was this around the same time? I don't know. I I would have to look at uh, it here. Let me let me find the video real quick. I think it's called yeah. the Goim Sing Syrup Eater. Some shit <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah so so some of some of the trickery i fuck with but yeah like any of the pull shit fuck fuck that oh my god um, this was 2014 okay so that this, yeah this, so this definitely before, before jesus yeah, christ be good, really took up <laughs> the coin face to repeat her uncle Whoa. <laughs> And she's all uniformed and shit. She's like, oh, we have found the shooter. No, it's a guy being like, oh, that, and here's an audio right now of the shooter in question. It's just me. And I go and pull the next day and people were like, which one of you fucking idiots did this? Because I recorded it and posted it on V because people were memeing that oh, I was like no, dressed no. as Big Boss. So I sang it. Well, <laughs> and I mean, that goes to the root of the problem, right? Like people cross boards and it's just it's just how the, the commonplace thing happens. I mean, you're not stuck to one part of the site. And I guess that that eventually leads to that happening or leads to that that fade in. So to be. Yeah, damn. Damn. Okay. Did you get any more blowback than just that? I mean, damn. That I'd be fucking terrified. If, nobody like, knew it was me. That's what I love about like being anonymous. Literally, yeah, is yeah. that nobody yeah. knows it's you but yourself, yeah. and I can like talk about like, yeah, yeah, that was me. It was pretty funny too. Literally, who? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, and it, it it's just yeah, it's you know, it's a part. It's part of history, but it feels so personal to us, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and just growing up with that shit, I fucking love it. And and by the way, I mean, um, I want to give you credit. I you've heard it like probably five times already, Jab. But the fact that um, you know, we go to these magfests, and I feel like I went to magfest to meet you and Peb. But meeting WT Snacks at W uh, at the magfest 2020 kind of it felt like it changed the game. Because this is some of the per one of the persons that like made 4chan what it is today like made it blow up and oh, yeah. created v by the way fucking, fucking and internet he... legend just casually hangs out with us yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it was, it was that wt that, like... snacks yes oh, that's shit. wt snacks wt snacks was running yeah. the whole parties that we were all like like going oh to shit day. yeah well yeah. damn and, i and, fucking you know... missed out for for real <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, we do podcasts, but this person has been doing radio all the time. And as I said, this person is super passionate, lives, breathes music. Fucking play music at 6 or 7 in yeah, the morning like, when like, everyone's like trying to sleep. He's super quiet. Like, everywhere he goes, he's always DJing. And, and that's why I always make him last during Funny Rave, because, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. he literally created uh, URL music festival culture. So I always feel mm -hmm. like he's, like, the, the, the perfect send-off to 
every funny rave because he started URL shows in fucking like 2003. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah like, big fucking props to WT Snacks uh, from for me and I hope from the entirety of the BGA team because we are super appreciative of this person. This is the ultimate cosign for a 4chan award show. One of the people who made 4chan what it is today created V and uh, is just super influential in general to us. You should get him on the podcast one day. Absolutely. Oh my, if that's possible, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. There's so many people I want to be a guest on, like that we all mm-hmm. mutually know we're like, that are just like kind of like pseudo internet celebrities that like normal, like the normal surface level people wouldn't know was like an internet celebrity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, but hey, we got Beatstar, the next big thing. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, it's just been, it's just been chilling. Bing chilling. I've been bing chilling for a little bit. Don't say fucking bing chilling. <laughs> oh, you don't like that, huh? It's you so like over fucking it, play. It is. Okay, okay. So it's not a Chinese person saying it. It's John Cena. But he's speaking fluently Chinese in that clip. Y- yeah. You know how he got to that point, right? He lived in China for a good amount of time. He's, he's become very close, and he has a passion for ice cream. We should not just. There's nothing for... wrong with that, you know? Just yeah. an invisible man holding up an ice cream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't see him. <laughs> what if he performs his intro in Chinese if he ever wrestles in China? <laughs> he probably already does. Probably, he probably yeah. has done that once. Yeah, yeah. He's out there. He's been wrestling for a while. He was also uh, Fred's dad in the Fred movie. <laughs> <laughs> That guy is super cool for like following like everybody. Doesn't he follow Who, Fred you? Or... He, he... No, 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 John oh. Cena. So like, yeah, like he followed me, and I don't know how to feel about it because on one hand he follows like three hundred thousand people. <laughs> John Cena fault? Yeah, he he, fo- he, he follows I... three hundred thousand people, but he has four. Oh, he's probably like, a follow for follow kind of guy. No, he's not because he has fourteen million <laughs> followers. Oh, so shit. so I don't know how to feel. I, I was like, on one hand, I'm one of three hundred thousand people, but there's also like. 13.7 million people that didn't get the follow. There's no way he's actively on Twitter being like, huh, let's see what all 30, 300,000 people are up to today. I, I didn't follow him first. I wonder... He followed me first. I, I did not follow him. Hmm. So, like... Have you ever... Okay, have you ever, like, post... I bet... I wonder if he had, like, some kind of, like, bot that if you mention John Cena and say good or, like, yeah. like... Like, it'll automatically follow you, because that, that seems kind of plausible. I don't know, because I've always hated John Cena jokes but during... during <laughs> and I, and I, and oh, and oh I, the jokes. I used to express that. I, I even made passive-aggressive mm-hmm. videos, like, making fun mm-hmm. of people who love John Cena <laughs> jokes. So if anything, this guy should be not should mm-hmm. be disliking me, if anything. But, like, like <laughs> it was I, so weird. I've had weird falls as well. Like, I've had one of T-Pain's producers follow me mm-hmm. on, like, the big gay account. And I'm like, what the fuck? Well, like that one kind of makes sense because T Pain is like a very online guy. He spends a lot of time streaming himself. I know, but I'm thinking, I'm like, am I really about to have a big gay T Pain collab? Like that's gonna be crazy. Oh, that'd be dope. <laughs> I'm per- I- I'm sure in the reality of things that probably could happen because he's always on Twitch now. He's like hanging mm-hmm. out like with lower like viewer streamers. There's a possibility I I could if I really wanted to, and I could like hang out or like talk to T Pain. Yeah, I think he had like you know he had a, he had a lot of good records. He had a lot of good music. I love T Pain. Passionate about gaming, so he wants to get into this. You know, I love T Pain. Yeah, he so. went to Dragon mm-hmm. Con a few years ago, cosplaying as a character from Tekken. I forgot the character, but like he's like really <laughs> into video games. A couple of years back, uh, a friend of mine went to Evo, and he saw none other than Pusha T there. I was like, oh, that's oh, cool. That's, that's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, so we're at the uh, hour and a half point. I we usually have this segment at the end called "What You Watching," but um, mm-hmm. but before you do that, since we're all three of us are working on the video game awards this year, I was wondering if y'all wanted to briefly recap uh, the some of the stuff that we're going to be doing to hype some people up to get ready. Okay. So we got voting opening soon. Uh, I don't have an exact date right now uh, at the at the makeshift panel. I said next week, but realistically, we've got a couple of things that need to be done first. Website assets. Uh, nominees are all tallied, so we got all the, the nomination data that people pulled in. We got all the images and all that stuff. Um, we're, we're working on getting a voting is open trailer going. We've got uh, tons of speeches and stuff to do. Uh, but I'm trying to I'm trying to think what's a little bit more exciting than that. We got fucking pre-show mixes. Whoa. We got your pre-show mix coming up. Come on. Yeah, I'm returning. Woo. I'm returning back. I didn't uh, participate last year, but I'm participating this year. 
with some other legendary people. Like, is Snacks going to be performing again? Yes. 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 I'll be on another yeah, lineup with co-sign. Snacks. Hopefully, mm-hmm. I see some other familiar faces there. The pre shows are always a fun time. Whenever you see yeah. what time the VGAs are on, please show up like an hour earlier so you can catch everyone's great sets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm having flashbacks to our time at the Game Awards. I was like, yeah, they don't have a pre show yet. Don't steal that idea, by the way. But I, <laughs> I, still, I still remember like Jeff Keighley, his, his voice, it, mu- it might have been pre recorded or live, like the Game Awards will begin in five minutes. I'm like, oh, come on, music! Give us, uh, give us some music. Yeah. Give us a, make you know, everyone, maybe the orchestra can play some. Make everyone jam out, yeah. like butter them up so they can get hyped for the actual show. Right, right, yeah, right. Um, there's also, so, I don't know if I can talk about this yet, but there's another thing in the actual show I'll be helping out with. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, we got some great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just got notified of this yesterday, so I don't know if I can talk about it yet. But um, stay tuned for my contributions to the main show. Mm-hmm. I want, I want to know off of recording. I want to hear about it. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. Let you we know. got some, we got some great trailers, and we got some winners that I'm sure you'll love, and I'm sure that you'll be like, "Damn it, why'd you vote that way?" Well, it's just how it goes around here. So anyway, um, yeah, looking forward so much to that, and so much to this year. Once uh, voting opens to the public, that's the stage where we notify the developers, and it's going to be really fun uh, seeing their responses and. You know, um, the fact that COVID made a lot of people more offline or more or more online and more uh, responsive to people on Twitter and on other forms of media on the Internet, um, it's really ballooned the response rate for the VGAs from developers. And a lot of them are, are surprisingly su- receptive to to our concept. So it's really cool. It's really cool to see that. And I'm looking forward to uh, sharing some of the responses with you all. And uh, Zach, Zach nice. Boy also has some contributions to yep. the award show. I am returning yes. to the VGAs once again for voice work. Hopefully, uh, all you. of it doesn't get scrapped again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, let's uh, let's 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 put the water. Okay, I see the water. The water's rising, rising, rising. Let's build a bridge up in here. Yep. So, yeah, the the production <laughs> method of the VGAs has changed over these years. We made mistakes in the past. We are not running away from them. Let's confront them. So we had our system where it was like, oh yeah, let's have the VAs voice every award. Every let's have the VAs voice award. every nominee. Let's have the VAs voice you know various things, and then only pick the best one that sounds. No, that gets a lot of shit unused, and that makes people feel really bad at the end because it's honestly up to the decision of the person who makes each award video. So what we've done is we've made a system where we've got VAs assigned to awards. They perform the awards, but only the nominees that were that were nominated and, and on the top five. So, like, you don't have all this extra work that ends up not getting used. And I, I'm, I'm glad that we've we've evolved to know, like, hey, this is the most efficient use of everybody's time and resources. And every as little people who work on the show get pissed off as possible because there are a lot of other things to get pissed off about. So um, I'm I am looking forward to seeing your contributions here and a lot of the trailers and stuff and and to see um, you know when things get really uh, uh, spicy with uh, the way that people vote and like oh shit this game was supposed to win but you nominated this fucking game instead come on it's it's one of the uh, favorite pastimes uh, that I've seen on these shows or uh, you know in the VGAs that like our our hosts are like. Why the fuck did you vote this way? Why did you vote this way instead of this way? Instead of, like, Animal Crossing? Instead of picking, uh, I, I forget what the one was back in, uh, 2020. But it was just really funny. He took the game, Animal Crossing, he got an axe, and he just fucking smashed it to pieces. It was like, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I remember, yeah. Uh, I remember back in 2021 when I was talking to Beatstar, I was like, yeah, the stop posting about Among Us guy is like uh, is like talking to me now. I remember Beatstar was like, oh, I think that guy doesn't like me. And I was like, really? <laughs> we, we go back. We go back. Hey, oh, hey, you know, like man. we go back. We, we went through this. And here's the thing. You only go around once. Right. But if you come around again, that's that's all the better. Yeah, so, yeah. so in life, I mean, you go around this track, and it's like we grow up, and sometimes we go off the track and back on the track again. It's good to see you again, man. Yeah. It was just irritating at the time, because, I mean, like, Beatstar covered um, mm. the all of the nominations, everything was being yeah. read, and then things were cherry-picked yeah, yeah. out. I had to read, like, everything. It took a few hours, yeah. like, and it's just like doing multiple takes and spending all my time, like, getting enough time to yeah. sit down and do everything, and it's like, oh, they only picked two of my things. All right, well, fuck yeah. me, I guess. 
I mean, and I was really, yeah, really was, salty about that. Yeah, yeah. It was, you know, it's a really laborious uh, concept to, to start out with and not end up with any, or, you know, just only two awards. Yeah, I would be pissed off, too. Yeah, it makes so you feel I'm better. glad that our new system is better. If it makes you feel but, uh, better, but Zach. It... Uh, I, d- I remember all the way back in 2015, I did my first set for them, which got a lot of bad reception because it was my yeah. that was my first time DJing ever. And then the next year, the person that was the producer at the time just straight up said, "We cannot have you work on this show." And I was like, "Really?" <laughs> and that, you know, and that's 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 a real fucking shame. You know, like why why do that? It, my my taste and my, my mistake is like, oh yeah, my taste is not gonna be one to one in terms of musical taste. My musical taste isn't the taste of everybody. My mistake was like, okay, let's go ahead and start this out. But when the reception hit, and I was like, oh fuck. Because these, these is this is what real people's effort is coming to. Like we do this, and we have all these people watching the stream, and if they don't like it, ah, oh, fuck. And it's not just any person you're pissing off; it's people on V, yeah. you know. So like, so like, so, to this yeah. day, like people still shit talk me every VGAs, but you know that's that's really well, like really not not as much as in the past, but like um, okay, but yeah, all the way up until the last one I contributed to, they they kept on right. like insulting right. me and like posting but, screen caps of my twitter on v and whatnot oh God. but it's yeah. it's, 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 it's just so stupid it's, it's, no, i mean it, it's funny it's this whatever yeah. yeah well let me let me let me say it like this thanks for giving us a chance and also i know it's not just a chance you've made it into so much more but the fact that you were there when we had no pre-show person because like stuff three was going on a stuff three hiatus mm-hmm. um and um, we didn't have anything to look forward to. You were there to step up and actually give people content and give people something to, to look forward to prior to the show. We did have skits before the show, too, but we also had a mu- uh, you know, musical segment, and that was it. And, yeah, next year, you know, this, this other guy comes aboard and is the producer, but still had four pre-show mixes because people liked the show you know, so much they wanted to contribute some more. And then you came back for 2017 and subsequent years. And we had this pre-show that was once a 15-minute segment, maybe a 20-minute segment. Now it goes as long as 40 or even longer. So it's it's great, you know, and it's all thanks to you. It really is thanks to you. I, I, yeah, I really appreciate the opportunity. Like, even if I never came back, mm-hmm. like, that's what, like, inspired me to start DJing more. And, and hey, I just did a show mm-hmm. at a real last nightclub a few days ago. As a result, yeah. So. Hell yeah. So yeah, I appreciate it too. Like, the VGAs. Yeah. Bringing us together despite 4chan's reputation. Look at us. We're all we're all best yeah. as a result. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the fact, yeah, the fact is like put putting me on board uh, on Funny Rave too. I mean, that was that was something that I was like, I, this isn't how is it up my alley? I'm like electronic music. I mean, it's sort of like some songs, but like I didn't know exactly what to expect, but now I'm fucking in it. I'm super in it. I mean, most of my time at at MacFest was at these parties. And it's great to get around and, and as you know, that security guard once said, burn some calories. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's, like I would it, like you would go to mm. snacks as parties before me and I'd come in and I see you dancing and I'm like, Whoa, look at you, <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a square guy like me. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that's it's something it's something really, really neat. Um, the fact that we we made we made this we made this one award show and it and it blossomed into a beautiful community and friendships that have formed from it is so fucking so fucking rewarding and nice to see. Thanks guys. <laughs> so so yeah, that's that, no problem, uh, buddy. <laughs> so what time is uh, is the VGA is gonna be premiering? We don't have with with the video game awards, unlike some other shows, um, I noticed this like now like it's he, here I go again. How is it that like the spike or the, the game awards is always on like the second Thursday? It's like oh we got this specific schedule that people who who work and in video games this is something they can't hold it on a weekend because everyone's trying to be home with their family and it's close to the holidays whatever. But our shows we typically go on a Saturday. Uh, we typically go at uh, towards the end of a month. So not like the beginning of the month, usually. I would predict and do not... Oh, shit. I'm making a prediction, so I'm going to be quoted. Um, I would probably say sometime in February, but we don't know yet because we have a lot of pieces that work together. We have the pre-show mixes, we have the trailers, we have the speeches, we have the video people. So we all have to work in tandem with one another. And depending on how much time that we work on things and concepts and things of that nature, 
once we once we figure out that we're 90 percent done we give we give a date so i would say from that date it's two weeks past that so i would say we probably come up with a date somewhere around february as i said so it's probably going to be sometime around february i would i would gear towards the second half of the month all right dope dope so stay tuned vga mm-hmm. is coming all three of us have been making special contributions to it if you want to hear zach's low bassy smooth butter voice throughout the whole thing <laughs> thank you thank you zach for coming you're trying back. To, you're trying to give me up like you did skin of a rake this is triggering me <laughs> <laughs> i have pdsd